page portion of this lesson, you're going to make up the kits for your students with a compass, two magnets, um, two pieces of wire with one centimeter of exposed metal at each end, a light bulb, a bulb socket, a battery, and a battery holder. And one wire needs to be um, 20 centimeters long. So that's a lot of materials for this unit, um, for this lesson. And an overhead of uh, page 167. Um, in this lesson, you're going to engage your students by asking them, why do you think the needle of a compass is affected by a magnet? Why do you think the needle of a compass is And we're going to ask, what are the similarities between electricity and magnetism that you have already observed? So that's kind of reviewing previous um, lessons. There's another large safety note on this lesson for the explore section and that students are going to be making a circuit that they have already created and investigate the similarities between magnetism and electricity. Um, during the explain part of your lesson, students will be reading page 13 and 14 of the world's largest magnet um, in the language <coughs> reader and of course try to group students um, based on levels to support the learning. The assessment is just a formative assessment on an exit card or in a journal where you can make it um, multiple choice, fill in the blank, and the questions are listed for you along with the answers. The um, extension is to research Northern Lights, and that's also in the book on Oh no. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. On the next page, and students can research the Northern Lights. And um, you see at the bottom the simulation. <coughs>